I think A during her morning briefing today said it was 67 degrees out here and um, seems like the sun is coming through the clouds this morning but there's definitely a cool feel to the air and um, for July I will take it we're out for our morning walk the clouds have really lifted for now it's nice and sunny and Dawn's just full of good information this morning reminding me that uh, we've got exactly two weeks to sleep in until school starts and it'll be 5 30 instead of 7 15. well the guys are over here mowing this morning yep yeah, must that's right they are they're marking the field too they're out there scraping and marking they got the string down to do the chalk so one of the videos don and i watched last night was uh monroe live and dirty tesla <laughs> I thought what a great combination considering they're both up in that neck of the woods and um, we had not watched Dirty Tesla for a while but we see that he's moved from a 3 to a Y or added a Y and anyway he took Sandy on a uh, tour of FSD 9 beta he's one of the beta testers for it and um, I really enjoyed that video there aren't any of Sandy's videos that I don't enjoy um, even when he's talking pretty technical car component stuffs, but I have to say that I particularly um, like that. I think, I don't know, It's maybe this will sound funny, but Sandy's kind of charismatic to me as far as, you know, when he talks, people listen. Maybe it's that authoritative, knowledgeable, um, older guy thing going on. I don't know. But anyway, that was fun. And here's the morning bunny over here in the, in the grass. Hi, bunny. Yep, go back up in your, your kudzu there. So, what I was going to say is I saw a post on Tesla Divas last night and it was a diva that said we got the FSD beta for our trip from somewhere to somewhere. It was a sizable distance and we had trouble with it today. And um, she said four or five things and then she said, you know, just wanted to warn you before you pay for your subscription. And I thought to myself, well, number one, uh, Apparently she doesn't watch any YouTube videos or she would have known about some of that stuff. That was one of the things I thought. And number two, her husband was driving, not her. And number two, it doesn't matter, but that just for clarity. And number two was that um, one of the things she complained about was one of the things Sandy complained about. The car wants to stay in the right-hand lane or keeps on getting back over to the right-hand lane. And Don has complained about that. Like, come on, don't go, don't ping pong back and forth. Well, I left a comment, you know, there are settings where you can tell it not to leave the passing lane. Or depending on whether you do one of those four settings, Mad Max down to, um, I don't remember what it's called, but not very assertive. Very assertive Mad Max to not very assertive. They're gonna change the behavior a bit um, of how much you stay in the left lane or you don't. So I just said, you know, you need to experiment with those settings and see if you like the way it drives better. Look for the don't leave the passing lane one and then think about switching the aggressiveness of uh, the car. And, you know, try if you're on the interstate for days driving across country, you've got a lot of time to try the different settings and for both drivers to try them. So try them. Don't assume that. You know, you've gone in there to autopilot, you've enabled the beta, or you know, you've enabled the FSD that's available out there to the fleet right now. Don't just assume that whatever you enabled the first time is going to work for you. And I guess she said going past semis, it was just turning itself off. Well, I suspect, and this is just, this is just a hunch, that going past semis, it made her husband nervous because the car was too close to the truck. You know, as drivers, we tend to want mentally to feel better next to the truck and if there's room we just sort of automatically move a few inches to the left i suspect he touched the wheel enough to take it out of autopilot and he's not used to doing that um because i don't ever see it dying on the road just throwing it back over i mean unless of course you weren't uh torquing the wheel uh every once in a while but i don't know um the new beta or the new fsd subscription will have a lot of people that didn't have it before having it now and um that's a good thing and that's also going to cause a lot of confusion commentary um 
you know i was very careful with it a little more careful with don about trying it out in places where there weren't a lot of other cars around like if, if someone in the triangle area were to get the subscription and they weren't you know youtube tesla fan people and they wanted to see how it worked for the first time i would tell them to go get on the turnpike over there at 540 that i like to drive on because there's not a lot of traffic the lanes are wide it's well marked I can tell you the car performs well over there. It would be a great test bed. Um, you know, you don't want to insert yourself. I wouldn't, I wouldn't try it for the first time on the, uh, you know, interstate, uh, the belt line going through DC pretty much at any time of the day, but you know, especially when it's crowded. So just a couple of thoughts about what I'm seeing out there. Um, the chatter, the chatter from regular Tesla drivers, uh, about this new subscription stuff. You're such a good boy, you're gonna do your run up to the house. Well, yeah, but it, uh, you know, that just gets me a little of higher intensity for a little bit. You yeah, know, and it, it also takes eight minutes to get there. So that's really not that far. Yeah, and it also makes sure he gets his 10K steps without turning up at eight o'clock at night. Oh God, I need three or 400 more steps or a thousand steps or something, it really has made that much difference and when you're already sweaty and need a shower and everything anyway so why not do the little the little run 5224 steps uh 45 minutes 55 seconds distance 2.4 miles pace is 1910 per mile way cool we were almost down into the 18. yeah we we i would say we were moving along pretty good yep okay kiss, all right kiss. see you in a few minutes kiss kiss I feel for him going up that hill. Like I said to you guys and to him, it was a good exercise for me walking it the one time because it gives me a real appreciation for it. It's hard to walk up it. I'm sure it's harder to jog up it. Oh. I'm a little irritated because at least three times in the last week I've gotten in Jules and um, she's not switching to um my profile she's still in easy entry mode and when she switches out of easy entry mode after i put the pin in she goes to dawn and none of dawn's stuff is in the is in the is in the car um yeah none of dawn's stuff is in the car his key uh, well he doesn't have a key fob but his key card and his phone aren't here i've got my phone my key card and my key fob so i don't know why it's not switching to me it did actually open reasonably quickly today because it hasn't been doing that sometimes and obviously i can switch it to marianne and obviously in easy entry mode it's not like i'm having to squeeze between the seat and the wheel or anything as a matter of fact i'm closer to the wheel in my profile than don is but i'm just mentioning that the car kind of hasn't been switching or recognizing or doing quite like i'd like it to and just to say, um, this morning it happened to, I guess, pick up my iPhone and my key fob, and it's marked those both as active. Um, so it is possible, it is, it is possible that one of them would be using the wrong profile. Um, I don't know what happens here if I click on this. What does it say? It saved the current profile. So let's just see if maybe one of those wasn't the profile that I wanted it to be. And, um, yeah, that, cause that is possible. I couldn't prove that. So we'll see tomorrow morning. Well, the driveway looks horrible. So I guess I'm going to blow while I'm in my exercise clothes and haven't had my shower. Hi, Slate. How are you? Hi. Hello, shy girl. I was just on the end of the boardwalk with Gray for a few minutes and gave her some attention and Tuck's a big old rub down attention. Yeah, if you're thinking it looks like I mowed the grass, you would be right. It's just afternoon and after I blew, I thought about it for a minute. It's really not very hot today. It's in the low 80s only. It was probably still upper 70s when I started. So I was like, well, it's taller than I'd like it, like it to be. It's not warm too warm to mow I have the time I need to stop and do that so I did and uh, it looks much better 
Didn't see any snakes today. Didn't get any fire ant bites, although I did get at least six mosquito bites. But those only, you know, are 30 minute duration bothersome versus days for me. My arm where I had the bee sting, it still isn't right. It still looks red. Yeah. So, well, I feel good getting that done. Just a quick peek at the backyard. Take a minute to uh, look at my flowers. I don't have anything this time of year that smells good, but certainly look pretty. Here's a couple things that are ending this um, purple wave runner petunia over here is sort of fading, but a lot of it still looks good. I wanted to change the flag by the butterfly box over there and I was like, you know, that's where that hornet's nest is in the, down underneath those flowers. I think we'll just keep that flag until fall. <laughs> Hi, Mart. Hi. Hi, Marty. You know you're an old fart when you start getting mailings about Medicare pretty much every day of the week. No, buy no. this Medicare, buy that Medicare, this supplement plan, that, yeah. I had to walk all the way up to the mailbox to get this. He wanted steps because he sat all day. Yeah, I need a little stretch my legs this afternoon. Yeah, some of us have over 15,000 steps and we're not required to do any more stepping yeah, today. Yeah, well, some of us have been coding all afternoon. So my recommendation to folks is don't clean house and certainly don't do paperwork and certainly don't respond to mailings. Um, I just, I've been cleaning all afternoon, all going all, afternoon. all paper. Well, I lost the debit card in the house and Don was great because you know he's always great. And yeah. we cleaned underneath the love seat and vacuumed up and then it was sort of sitting beside me underneath something I don't know. That's okay. Anyway, I am um, I am housewife stressed with um, doing stuff requirements today. I don't know what I was thinking, but it looks better. Yeah, and by where we said it's, I was on my not my spring cleaning, but my summer before go back to school cleaning Sounds stuff. Sounds good to me. He just wants me to feed him now. Yes, I'm <laughs> some of us, after we mowed the lawn, had steak. Well, some of us did mow the lawn and didn't have steak. And is ready for something to and eat. Ready for something to eat. Okay. You know, I meant to go out in Ruby earlier today, and um, I just really got into cleaning. <laughs> That's so sad. And never made it out. But I got done all the stuff I wanted to get done. So um, I don't have things on my plate tomorrow uh, along those lines. Anyway, um, Don and I had dinner and I had made a cup of Rubio's tea, which we drink sometimes with some cream in it and uh, was sort of chilled. And uh, Johnny needs a ride from Taekwondo back to his father's house. His father's car broke down. So, um, yeah, that sucks. You know, a day when you got to get your car towed is not a good day for anybody. So, anyway, I'm headed to pick Johnny up and take him back to his father's house. Uh, thankfully, um, I saw the message right away and there was enough time for me to get to Johnny without um, being late or him worrying where people were or that kind of thing. So um, anyway, I'm uh, Mountain Ruby. We're gonna go for a little drive. I've got 156 miles range. I see I forgot to um, plug in last night. Uh, not a biggie that is you know obviously plenty and more than enough and uh, all's good yeah doing a little impromptu light show here at Taekwondo for some uh, very happy boys and it's, it's the red contingent that's tonight huh that's a Tesla. yeah that's a model s It opened the doors too, the other doors. Holy crap! <laughs> it's gonna shut them. Go Ruby, go. Always a crowd pleaser wherever she goes. There's a Tesla Roadster. Yep, there is a Roadster too. So what color is the Hot Wheels that you have? I have 
the ultimate. Well, it's nice to get to see you, but I'm obviously really sorry that your dad had car trouble. Um, Johnny is really excited about Battle, Battle Bots coming this fall. He's been researching it, following the media releases, talking up a storm about it, uh, him and Mr. Don. And uh, I guess uh, how's uh, work towards your third degree black belt going? It's going well. Yeah, you started volunteering tonight, so explain about that. So we just go in and act as another instructor, basically. Yeah, he's doing it the class before his class, so he's kind of did a double shift up there tonight. Yep. Good deal. You know, I drove uh, up and down this road for two solid years with uh, Johnny going to school, so I know the speed limit and the lights and all that good stuff really, really well. This is 401. Anyway, uh, I was in Traffic Aware Cruise Control, booking at 57 mile an hour down to the light, and um, there was nobody behind me, and I don't want to use up my brakes. And I know if I leave it in Traffic Aware Cruise Control, the car will absolutely stop, but she will break, and she will break harder than I want her to break, probably. So I tapped the brake pedal, dropped out of Traffic Aware Cruise Control, and then at the very end, I ended up putting my foot on the accelerator a little bit to get to this point here where I'm stopped. But my point is that, you know, we really need a, I don't know, a mode beside. <laughs> Sorry, all of that noise and nowhere to go just um distracted me i'm sorry it was like a call to put my foot on the accelerator um all i was trying to say is this it seems like there should be a good way to tell the car that we need to um conserve the brakes to brake sooner to not brake at the last minute i mean you know like i'm as a driver i'm aware there's nobody behind me I've got plenty of room to drop out of um, traffic aware cruise control and let regen slow me down. I, I didn't have to put my foot on the brake, basically not at all. Um, it sort of seems like there's another driving mode needed so that that could be the case. Um, but I kind of know where I got to tap the brake to, to kick out to, um, you know, slow up enough that I don't have to use the brake pedal in a situation like that. <laughs> 